How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be going over a new recall that is affected by uh, your buckles not latching properly onto the tongue of the seatbelt. So this uh, recall affects 18 to 19 Odysseys, 17 to 20 CRVs, 19 Insights, and 18 to 19 Honda Accords. So the very first step that we do is um, just check and make sure that the, the buckle latches onto uh, the tongue over here and then we pull it a couple times and we unlatch it and we buckle it again uh and you know so forth uh three four times so if that passes uh the next thing we have to do uh and we would have noticed this from the get uh is just make sure your srs light which is right over there isn't on and if the indicator is on uh, see how it went out now so if the indicator would be on we would pull codes and uh, it would only be affected by this recall if the codes were uh, B0050-11-12-13 or dash 2B. So if you have any of those codes, then uh, we would replace um, the appropriate buckle, uh, whether it be the driver's side or the passenger side at that time. If you have another um, code, then it would apply to this bulletin, but we would still do the recall uh, going from there just so because of uh, the SRI is on does not mean it's related to this or not but it could be so as you can see I have the buckle all apart here and this one is uh, together still I'm gonna do this so next and this one you can see it's actually kind of sticking so that one might need the buckle but before we get to that this is just a set of tools over here that Honda has provided us to uh, basically keep it together and latch this button and replace it so this is the old button right over here and uh, like I said, we take the, these two covers apart for the buckle. If there's no residue uh, over here, then we proceed with the buckle uh, button replacement, which is what I did here already. So this one is done. I did all my picture taking and you can tell that this has a new button uh, because it has the QR code that could be found on either side of the button. The old one does not. So just a quick, uh, you know, some quick insight for you guys. Not that you'll ever see it because it'll be covered by this uh, black uh, cover over here. And uh, you can easily tell though, you can see this button is all grimy and dirty. So um, you can tell if it was done or not because of the dirt that most likely will be in there just from you constantly pressing it or not. So if it all, all that passes, then we've replaced the button and uh, then we have to do a series of picture taking. And uh, after all that, we clip the seatbelt back in and we pull on it and do this a couple more times. And uh, that is that. If at any point we find some residue in here on the corners, then uh, we would be replacing the whole buckle. Also, if this G-lock over here were to come apart, then Honda wants us to replace the buckle uh, as well at that time. So I'm uh, basically done with this. I did all my picture taking. I'm gonna put these covers back on. I just wanted to uh, make this video just to show you guys a little bit of what goes on and behind the scenes of uh, what happens uh, here. Uh, like I said, now I'm going to move on to this side. Uh, might end up needing a buckle, uh, but we will see. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, please uh, drop me a comment down below on maybe some content you would like to see or some questions or suggestions or anything like that.